I was looking through some of my old notes this summer and I came across a legal pad that um, I had kind of sketched out. And it's a sketch of our facility as, as scale as I could make it with different projects. The first thing that we did was we re regraded the hill down the right field line. Uh, we cut the fence in half and put a net up so we could utilize that hill a little bit better. And we put in the fire pits over there to engage and say, come on, sit over here's a great view. Very early on in this process, Troy Hustis and I sat down and there were so many things that we talked about in terms of the direction of this program. We really broke it down into several areas that we wanted to see improve so that we could achieve great goals. Our alumni support's incredible. Um, our university support's incredible. Every idea and every dream and every part of the vision that we've had for how to move this program forward, whether it's facility, scholarships, anything else, it's met with how can we make that happen. The playing surface was obviously at, at the forefront of the, one of the immediate things that we needed to change. And anytime that you're on social media in the fall, that's probably been the most visible is, is our baseball field, our new turf in the midst of leaves that are about to fall and changing colors. But if you just walk through Beaver Clubhouse and you walk through, you know, Jim and Betty Smith Stadium and, and, and you walk through Don and Pat Phillips indoor batting cage, you know, all of those areas are completely redone. When you break down the projects, the project of the new turf and the project of the batter's eye in center field, those two are, that's just the integrity of the game. It's just really good turf that helps us prepare and helps us have a good baseball game. So two teams are gonna go play on a surface that's top of the line. One of the beautiful things about that is the backdrop of everything. The backdrop for hitting purposes for catching purposes and for umpire purposes, uh, it wasn't the best backdrop. So um, from, a, from a batter's eye standpoint and a turf standpoint, it was simply the integrity of the game. The scoreboard is such a, such a beautiful story uh, that Philip Byers tells, um, watching us at, at an opposing field and seeing every player's number, stats, picture on the scoreboard of the opposing team. And he was on a mission from that point on to make sure that when our players come to bat or our players come into pitch, that there's gonna be a picture uh, on a video board at our facility so that their family can sit in the stands and see them up on that video board. We wanted to leave no excuses for anyone to walk into our ballpark, not only enjoy what they're doing, but have a unique experience while they're here. The terracing on the, on the backside of the first base dugout, that's gonna add a whole new amenity to what we're doing. Staying with those Adirondack chairs, staying with that, I'm, hey, I'm going on the back porch in the mountains and I'm, you know, I'm gonna watch the sunset, right? Like we wanna play into that. Like that's, that's who we are, that's our university, that's our brand, that's, that's, that's our identity. Um, so let's use that, right? Let's, let's give them the back porch at our facility and while they're sitting on the back porch they can watch one of the best conferences in the country and they can watch one of the best teams in the country compete on a daily basis. This little piece of paper ended up being pretty cool.